we move on to number eight, and that's a hydrologist report. The uh, Nickel Creek BLM agreement that's uh, been signed then and, and uh, been sent to BLM. We'll start addressing on Check's that. Check's been cut. Yeah, check's been cut. <laughs> Two or three. Yeah. And again, you know, that's already been mentioned. Uh, just been working with Kevin and the rest of the staff on the, I guess, the transferability of ordinance to. And it's been a lot of time uh, with staff working on that and looking at that and to improve that. Uh, also provided the uh, <coughs> division, Nevada Division of Water Resources, they called and requested some information on our wells and water rights and sent that to them. The Is eight, that pretty much standard? <laughs> Yeah, for the most part. They uh, were looking at drill logs for, for different places of use of water. And I guess updating their records. Um, had to do with some of our extension of time for water rights. The 8 inch transmission line project in Bunkerville that work's been completed for, for a while now. But for the inspection process with NDOT and Clark County, they just both wrapped up their inspections and, and from my understanding I haven't heard back from Clark County but they were waiting to hear back from MDOT uh, to say yes that was approved by them and then the county would sign off on it and we would be done and uh, we still have a retention uh, uh, that we need to pay out to the, the contractor once we get the inspection cleaned from the county and, and then pass it off on that and that should, should be any, any day now. Hey, MDOT has what about? <coughs> There. Yeah, it's very small within that. This is the north side road there. Um, also, been working on. We have two tanks that need to be. Well, <coughs> one needs to be cleaned and inspected, and another you take on the flat top or Flint Franklin Way. About a year and a half ago, that was leaking, and we brought that for the board to go get that repaired. And the leak has uh, reoccurred. It's, it's very small, and so that's being looked at. And Going out, uh, getting uh, four four quotes on, on to get that repaired. And so we're in, the, we're in the middle of that, and hopefully that will wrap up here very shortly, and we'll get that repaired. And then the scenic tank will be cleaned, inspected and cleaned. Both we'll those tanks were put in at the same time in I think, 2006, and so we we'll go get a closer inspection with the video camera and whatnot to see the integrity of, that, of those tanks. Um, what kind of loss are we getting on, on, on the leak. that leak? It's a, it's, a, it's a pin leak. It's very, very small. But at the same time, leaks grow. So yeah. there's no way to meter that uh, necessarily. Um, it's through a crack. Um, Is the water making it to mesquite? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, That's the why the Colorado floods. <laughs> there you go. Uh, shouldn't joke about that. Um, also finished up on water quality sampling, got the report back on that, and then also the, there's another attachment with my report specifically on updating the water use by, by hookup residential. The last time we kind of looked at that it was 2007 in our uh, well, conservation plan. I actually had someone call in and, and wanted an update on that, so I just asked, working on that for them, I, I looked at that and also created a table with ERUs or equivalent residential units and there's a ratio in our um, that we use per, per each meter size and so I, I put that and was able to go across all all water use and, and get a uh, I guess an ERU for, for use over the years and that's kind of interesting to be able to compare those um, and that, that'll be used will be beneficial in our, our structure of the rates and, and things of that nature. So that's oh and also last time we talked about the um, wilderness area and in regards to the Nickel Creek we looked at that and the best I can tell it is about it's just under a, a half a mile. Uh, well not under I'm sorry just over <coughs> half a mile from between two quarters of a mile and a half a mile from from that point of diversion of Nickel Creek uh, stream area. And that's what what they call the uh, there's an instant study area, uh, right? And that's 
there's a corner of that, and that's also what's being proposed as wilderness, which, again, there's, there's roads up there, so it doesn't necessarily uh, fit the criteria of wilderness if there's roads already there, so it'll be interesting how that plays out. But with innocent study area, that is uh, similar to a wilderness area. That's how they kind of mean that. So. It, just to make sure I, I got my story straight, I was looking at a, at a map yesterday, as a matter of fact, of the proposed wilderness, proposed NCA. Um, and if I understand it correctly, the road that we're requesting out of BLM is, does not um, go through any part of the proposed wilderness. It's all, but it's all still part of the, the, N, the Yeah, the proposed NCA. Correct. The pro proposed NCA. But no part of that row is within inside the wilderness boundary. That's correct. Proposed wilderness boundary. That's correct. Okay, it's all south and whatever. <laughs> yeah. All twisted around. It'll be north. Northeast. Northeast. Yeah. yeah northeast, because it's over there, so to speak. So to speak. Right. If we were standing there, it would be like that. Yeah. 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 Okay, and then I also have a question about this water usage chart, mm -hmm. but I'll let Kent ask his question. You know what the question is, would it let <coughs> Aaron know that a pre-existing road does not preclude wilderness? I used to go camping at campgrounds that had picnic tables, drop toilets, fire reeds, it got declared as untrampled wilderness. It got all plowed away and <coughs> removed. Down by Cave Lake? No. But it wasn't the statement. Wes? Wade. 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 Wade Cullen, Wade. 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 General Manager of Lincoln County Water District. Just for your information, uh, Lincoln County has 780,000 acres of wilderness. And when that was instituted, uh, they told us that all of our roads were going to be cherry stemmed in or grandfathered in as um, access to those wilderness areas. Um, after about three years, the BLM came back and started closing the roads off. And uh, then they, they started to limit the access and they started to uh, say those grandfathered roads and cherry stem roads um, were going to be closed so that only one access. So if you lived on the north and the access was on the south, you had to drive all the way around to get to that access. And so um, just uh, just be careful what they say because they don't always uh, say, they're telling you the truth at the time. I'm just going to put it that way. They're telling you the truth at the time because things change in the future. It's all very, very well put, yeah. Wade. <laughs> Google the camel's nose. It's called wilderness. Go, at, go look at the beaver dam wash and yep. tell me how, how long those words last. 